Hey guys, we're wrapping up another week here in Washington, D.C., and we see the Democrats doing the same thing they have been doing, that, I guess, since Joe Biden's been in office, doubling down on disastrous policies. And what I mean by that, uh, they are wanting to, they're wanting to end Title 42. Now, what is Title 42? Title 42 was put in place by President Trump underneath COVID for health concerns. It also turned in to a great opportunity for us to um, deport illegal crossings from, from countries that we may not have had extradition set up with. So underneath Title 42, when a, a, a male traveling by himself comes over to the United States, we're able to deport him immediately back to the country he came from. Now what's happened underneath Title 42 is also became a national security uh, um, uh, issue because we've got 11 terrorists that was on the terrorist watch list come across our border and underneath Title 42, we were able to hold them. Sometimes it takes two or three days to set up travel arrangements for this individual to get deported. During those two or three times, we also run background checks on these individuals. Lo and behold, what we started finding is we were catching all types of criminals at the same time. But the Democrats, they wanna do away with Title 42. At the same time, we've seen record increases of illegal crossings. In fact, the, the uh, chief of Border Patrol said that he expects to hit 1 million illegal crossings by June. And then he went on to say, if we end Title 42, we're gonna see a 50% increase of illegal crossings. Title 42 was, as I said, was put in place for health concerns. What does the Democrats do at the same time they want to end Title 42? They come back to Congress and say, hey, we want to spend another $15 billion, $15 billion of taxpayer dollars to combat COVID. But forget about the national security and the health risks that's going on the southern border. Why do they want to forget about it? Because they're only interested in one thing, open borders. Guys, we're in a fight for our country. And I thank you for giving me the opportunity to fight for us. May God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America.